Listen, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Garcia is on the record already. Listen, we got a fight that's approaching. It's about to go down. If you don't want to miss a second of coverage, make sure you subscribe to Flight Sports. Listen, man, uh, Ryan Garcia is already on record as saying that this is going to be light work for him going up against Devin Haney. Uh, it's going down on the 20th. And to be honest with you, uh, I got reports from George Cambosis Jr. We all know Devin did him filthy up in his home country, um, down under in Australia. He has come out on record and said that he has Devin stopping Ryan Garcia in this epic showdown. You know, we got a lot of people with a lot of things to say, uh, but bottom line is, you know, in my humble opinion, I think this is going to be kind of easy for Devin, if you ask me. Um, I think these are two big blockbuster names, and I think that sells itself. But I do think that I don't know if he's going to stop Ryan, you know, because we know the last time Ryan was in danger of getting stopped, he took a knee. Uh, but what I will say is, um, is this, it, it could be potentially a landslide, and we're going to break it all down. Uh, Phonics, what's your thoughts on these statements coming from Ryan, who, who was making it seem like he's just going to walk in and do Ryan, I mean, do Devin either way he wants? And you got Cambosis coming out firing back and letting it be known how he sees the fight. Well, how, how do you see the fight and how do you see these comments made by these fighters? Look, man, um, I hope Ryan Garcia doesn't test positive before this fight because we need this fight to go on. It's, he's clearly under the influence of something. So hopefully he can get it out of the system before the 20th. Um, look, I don't even like Devin Haney. He is not an a, a exciting fighter to watch. However, he's going to beat Ryan Garcia down. Ryan Garcia is a bum. He is a bum. He's been a lucky guy. He's robbed the bank without a gun quite a few times. Won against Tank Davis. You know what I'm saying? He, he should have never got that fight. You know what I'm saying? He's not even in his stratosphere. And I don't think he's in Devin Haney's stratosphere. I think Haney's going to stop him in the fifth round. Ken Bosa can stop talking. Nobody wants to hear him, man. He's a loser. And, and his career is, is essentially over. But you know what I'm saying? Um, Ryan Garcia has been doing some crazy things to sell his fight. I think this fight sold itself. I think Devin Haney is going to punish him. Um, and honestly, I'm not really excited to see this. I think Devin Haney, again, he took he, he took an easy competition. You know what I'm saying? He really doesn't want to fight the guys that really want to fight him. You know what I'm saying? Or that maybe they don't want to fight him, but it would make a good fight, i.e. Tank Davis, uh, um, Shakur Stevenson. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't want – for some reason, he, he's staying away from that. So this is why he picked this guy. You know what I'm saying? He, um, pretty much that's all it takes nowadays. But he's not proven to be who who has Ryan Garcia beaten? That's what we, we keep forgetting. Who hasn't really he hasn't really beaten anybody. You know what I'm saying? And then when he goes up against top tier talent, he gets embarrassed. So I mean with, I, I, and, and honestly, he spent more time on IG than he has training. He spent more time pushing conspiracy theories on, on social media than he has training. I don't even think he's focused, man. I think he's gonna get hurt. But hey, 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 it's easy money for Golden Boy Productions. It's easy money for Devin Haney. So be it. Let's get it on. Yeah, man. Shout out to Golden Boy um, Promotions. You already know what it is. Um, it, it's a lot of things. Like I said, at the end of the day, um, they, they're making big fights happen, you know. And in this situation, like I said, we, we keep talking about this, this, that, and the third. The only thing I have to say is Golden Boy is doing it. You know, um, they did the big fight with Tank. Um, but what about what about this thing with Ryan? Because like I said, I think Ryan is going to get possibly punished in this fight. It could go that way. Um, I'm not saying that it is, but if it does, I, I just don't. I just hate because in this sport where people lose, we want to take them out. You know, it's just they finished, and I think it's not fair. In my humble opinion, I think guys like. Ryan should be respected for giving us these fights because a lot of people in his position would have never even took the tank fight. He was rolling. Everything was going smooth. You know, what is he doing taking the fights with these guys when he could have just been coasting like everybody else? You know, uh, he was looked at as one of those guys, too, you know, with that undefeated streak running. What do you think about that aspect? Wow. What do you mean? You take the fight against Tank and it's a lottery ticket. He's basically set for life with these two fights. Barring he manages his money well and he stopped having kids out of wedlock, um, he should be all right. 
But yeah, what are you talking about? This is multi-million dollar fights. Who else? Yo, don't you know any fighter with, with, with yo, just to get in the ring, knowing they might get knocked out. So what? I'm getting to the bag. He's getting to the bag. And, and yeah, he's going to lose. And he lost against Tank. And look, he's fighting another big time fighter. So that goes to, to show you it doesn't matter. But the losses should matter. And after this loss, I don't want to hear nothing from Ryan Garcia ever again, man. He's not a talented fighter. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have any heart. You know, and he's not focused. You know what I'm saying? His focus is not boxing, or at least it doesn't appear that way. Devin Haney is focused, and he's going to punish him. And like I said, I'm not a Devin Haney fan at all. I might be his worst critic, but he's going to punish him, man, and, and as he should. You know, but also I have to blame Devin Haney. Why are you taking lower tier talent? This, again, is the reason why boxing is, 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 is trying to make a comeback, but it just, it just can't get there. This is why you have to have the Spencers and the Crawfords, because Come on, what is this? I mean, I mean, yo, let, let's just be honest. What is this? This is nothing. Come on, we know, we all know Devin Haney's gonna win. We all know this. And I'm predicting fifth round, either KO or TKO. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bottom line. yeah what, what do you think? Because I mean, you see how he punished uh, Regis. You know, it seemed like him going to 140 is like that power is there. Well, it seemed like with, with the increase of weight, I see a lot more. Uh, like we have to see against Ryan, but I seen a little bit more something coming behind those punches. What do you think about that? About that? Absolutely correct. But yet again, what did I tell you, your fans? Go back and listen to when me and Fight were talking about that fight with Regis Porges, and I told you he's lower tier talent. I told you in his last fight that I saw before he fought Devin Haney, he fought horribly, and basically Eddie Hearn basically was like, "Yo, he got one more shot." And if he don't do nothing, then we might have to get rid of him. So we might not see reason for it. He was low-tier talent. I, yo, I'm going to have to look. I want to see more competition. If not, man, I might have to go to UFC. I'm sorry, man. I might have to go to UFC. Or even fake wrestling. I might have to do that. But I can't do boxing anymore if we're going to keep getting um, lower-tier talent with these guys because they're afraid to fight the guys that they know might punish them or they might take their belts. We have to give Errol Spence Jr. the biggest credit of this generation. He stepped up. He put his whole record and his belts on the line to fight one Terrence Bud Crawford. And yes, he got punished, but he, he went out like a champion. He went out like a champion. I, I, I respect it. I respect it. And that's what I want to see more of. That, that, that's what we need to see in boxing. More of that. Stop low. Ryan Garcia is low tier talent. So is Regis Pochez. Yeah, well, we're gonna we're gonna find we're gonna find that out. Um, but I I tell you this, we we got more to touch on. Make sure you hit the like button and most definitely hit the subscribe button. You already know what it is. It's Flight Sports TV. Peace and love to everybody. You already know we got more boxing content coming.